You are watching the XS RV series of orientation videos on where we talk about how your RV works, what you should know about it, and what you can do about it. In this video, we're going to be talking about power and electricity. There are two types of power to RVs since there are different appliances and fixtures that need different amounts of electricity for them to work. These come from different sources. We will first talk about the 12 volt system. What should you know about the 12 volt power system? The 12 volt power system pulls from the batteries which are located in the coach of the RV. Now we're going to talk about the appliances and fixtures that run off of 12 volts. All the items that need 12 volt power are the lights, the water pump, the slide outs, oh! the fridge, the furnace, the water heater, the radio, <laughs> who needs a radio, and other small fans. What you should know is that all of these things have a constant draw on your batteries. Just like all other batteries, the more they're used, the faster they will die. What you can do is check the battery level at the convenience center. Keep it charged by running the engine, being plugged into shore power, or by running the onboard generator. Having the key in the ignition will disable some of the 12 volt powered items. You can simply resolve this issue by removing the key from the ignition. Make sure your battery disconnect switch is in the used position. 90% of the problems will be fixed by making sure this is on. Also, remove as much stress as you can from 12 volt powered items. Some examples would be, don't move the slide out in or out on excessive slopes or with extra weight on the furniture. Okay, 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 I got one for you now. Knock, knock. Who's that? RV. RV who? RV there yet. <laughs> Hey, hey, I got one. Hey, I got one. Why don't you make like an egg and beat it? Jeez. Having too many lights on or faucets open or running more than one slide out at a time will put too much stress on the batteries and therefore it will decrease the output. Your other power needs are going to be 30 amps of power. You're going to need this kind of power to supply things like Roof air conditioning. Microwave. Electrical outlets for small appliances. In order to have enough power, you're gonna to have to plug in this kind of a plug to be able to supply those things. If you plug in this kind of plug, you're gonna limit yourself to running things like the air conditioning and other multiple appliances at the same time. You do not want to be plugged in while the generator is running as it will overload your power system. Electricity is a lot like the flow of water in the sense that you need enough supply and flow in order to use it. When the generator is started, you need to make sure that the microwave is on in order to use all the rest of the appliances. Make sure these appliances are also turned off before turning off the generator. You have now finished the power and electricity video. If any of these items are giving you trouble, you can check out our renter's manual put inside each one of the RVs. In there is a user's guide as well as a troubleshooting guide. In each one of these manuals, we have listed information of the manufacturers. If you need to contact them, feel free to do so. Also, we have listed our contact information. Please feel free to contact us during business hours. If you have any troubleshooting questions after hours, we do have a number listed that you can contact our after hour service number. You're all set to go. Have a great trip.